Hello everyone, I am Foxy.Bunny and welcome to another tutorial on the greatest software on earth, Source Filmmaker. Oh uh, yes, I love you Source Filmmaker, but... Fuck you. Why is this 8 year old piece of software buggier than Battlefield 2042? I, I don't get it, but anyway, today we're gonna animate some tank tracks. Yes, we finally figured out a way on how to animate the tank tracks in SFM. So the thing is, the tracks themselves are not animated by the models. They are texture animated. And today I'm going to show you how you can animate your own tank tracks. And you need three key things. Photoshop for creating an image sequence. VTF edit to, you know, create the texture. And your soul. To sacrifice you for the SFM demons! All right, we're gonna start with spawning our tank. Uh, I'm gonna choose T90A, my second favorite tank of all time. Choosing this skin. Yes, this is my favorite skin. Bite me. Okay, so you see, when you select the wheels, by rotating them, it distorts the tracks. And it's not really good. When you select the tracks themselves, well, good luck trying to animate it like this. Anyway, you right click on the model, click on add override materials, right click again, Show an element viewer, model, and now in this menu, you're gonna find the tracks material. Once you find them, you need to locate them on your own PC. I'm gonna go to Steam, browse local files for Source Filmmaker, find a folder that my tank model is in, which is machine, materials, models, dynamic, I don't know what that means, T98. Now here we're gonna find the tracks texture, here, there it is, open it, now you see here's the tracks texture, do not try to copy and paste it, I, trust me, I tried it, I tried to cheese the software but it won't budge. What you gotta do is to go to files, export, choose a location for it and export it as a PNG, this is important, you have to export it as a PNG so it will, you know, process the transparent images close all the windows and you see this is rt90 tracks let me put it here here it is now what you need to do next is to open photoshop import the tracks that you just exported and now the most important part of our tutorial begins all right so i'm gonna assume that you don't have this timeline here you need to go to the window and just select timeline put it somewhere that you can work with create video timeline click on this button Okay, now as you can see, we only have one layer of tracks. We need two of them. So hold Alt, select the image, and just drag. It's gonna create another one. Put it right on the previous one. And now in this part, we only need 30 frames. So, we're gonna put this on 101. It's actually gonna be 31 frames, but there's a fix for that. Just follow my steps. Now. We're gonna open the options for these layers and click on the swatch thingy for the positions. Drag the first timeline in the very beginning and drag the second one at the end. Kinda in the end. Yeah, that's better. Now go to the last frame, select only one of them. Once you're in the last frame, drag the first picture all the way down until it's out of the frame and you know, you have to drag it in a straight line. Once it's out of the screen, just change the frame so it would not sink in with the last frame. Now, select the second track and pull it all the way up. Now, put this keyframe at the very beginning. We're gonna put it this one. Easy. We got our image sequence. Kinda. Now, all you need to do is to create a new folder to put the images in. T90A. Good. I'm gonna put it here. Now, we're gonna go to the files. Export, render video. Now, once we are in the render video, we're gonna start frame with zero and end frame with 30, even though it has 31 frames. Now, for the format, it is really important to have it as PNG. Just like I said, it needs to process the transparency. Select the folder and now render the video. Once the images are rendered, we don't have anything to do with Photoshop anymore. Here we have all these frames for our image sequence. You have to delete the last one because it's a repeat. We don't need that in our VTF. Open VTF, click import, go to the folder and select all of them. Now for these options, I don't actually know what difference they make, but better be safe and sorry. Now it's gonna take some time until it loads. 
once it's loaded go to the flags and check these two options no mip map and no level of detail once the animation starts it's gonna look like this don't worry it's not broken it's just how it is now we're gonna save this vtf file click on this icon and start saving it we're gonna name it blit yes blit is fine now we're gonna cut this file here and send it to one of the subfolders in order for it to work it needs to be under materials folder now once it's here we right click on it we go to the properties and we leave this window open because we're gonna need it now we're gonna head back to the sfm and keep the folder open just in case we right click on the tracks add attribute string now in string we're gonna type in dollar sign base texture once it's done these black and pink colors will replace the texture which means we are on the right tracks pun intended all you need to do is go back to the properties of bliet our our texture copy this address from the models not before it not after it models Control c copy it Control v add a slash and now you need to copy the name or type it i guess once it's done the tracks are back right click on the tracks materials again go to add attribute and click on float now for the float we're gonna add in dollar sign what the fuck dollar sign frame once it's done nothing happens don't worry about it we're gonna do it right click on the tracks again and now we're gonna have the option of create animation set for element we click on this and this window opens we're gonna determine a float for it we have 30 frames so the number should be 29 well you know because sfm ca actually counts zero as a number so yeah the minimum would be zero and the maximum would be 29 click ok and we got an animation set for element it's great huh now bear in mind these options will not be shown to you unless you uncheck the show scene hierarchy option in the animation set editor now that you've got your tracks in the animation set elements you can drag this frame here and ah oh, it's moving yay congratulations you can finally animate these things now on how to animate it i'm gonna show you real quick if you want to create a loop here you need to drag this all the way up go one frame after it and drag it all the way down repeat this process for how long your heart desires and after you're done select all of them and click on this button here now you might be wondering what about the wheels don't worry we have a solution for that too all you need to do is to lock all the track bones and select wheels by only their rotations why only their rotations we'll try to rotate them with their position selected i dare you now you see they're all gonna rotate smoothly and without any problem god damn is it satisfying let's animate it real quick and see if you want to animate something that rotates and you want to do a 180 degrees without doing a backflip or something pay attention to this graph if it has a high angle without breaking it it means it's gonna rotate in the correct path now once we're done play it back and He's moving. god damn they are moving share this with anyone who has the same problem or who wants to anime tank tracks thank you everyone so much for watching subscribe and leave a like if this tutorial was helpful and i'll see you in the next video goodbye